Hello guys, Pro 2010 with you today, and today I want to make a video tutorial on how to get rid of those fake antiviruses that a lot of people are getting, including my mom. So let's uh, let me show you the my way of getting rid of them. And uh, by the way, this has to be done really quickly because the antivirus usually launches itself at startup, and then it might be really difficult to remove it. So here's how you do it. What you want to do, you want to restart your computer. This will turn off the antivirus, the fake antivirus, and it will turn off anything, any processes that are uh, associated with the with the antivirus. Afterwards, as soon as your computer starts up, just as soon as it starts up, before anything loads up, you want to go to Start, and you want to type in MS Config, and uh, just click that very first link. You want to do this really fast, like like within 15 seconds, you want to already have this open. Then you want to go to the Startup tab. And here, usually the fake antiviruses will have some really random name like Q, Z, R, G, Y, H, all the just things that make no sense at all. Those are the ones that you want to uncheck. So uh, you want to do that, and uh, you basically want to uncheck any random characters. And at that point, you want to press OK and uh, restart. It's going to say exit with restart. You want to press exit with restart, and that's going to restart your computer. All right, now when your computer starts up, the antivirus will no longer launch with your computer. Now this is where you have, uh, this is where you can actually go and remove the virus yourself. Uh, what I want you to do then, once you uh, once you have disabled it from startup, you want to download Malwarebytes. Link for this in the video description. Want to download this free program? It's a it's a great tool for removing any type of malware virus or anything that your antivirus does not pick up. Make sure that after you install it that you update it. It's going to ask you to update after installation. You want to accept that because usually these viruses that are they coming up with, they're usually the latest kinds of uh, fake rogue viruses. By the way, rogue is what they're called. So make sure that you have updated version of Malwarebytes. And uh, then you want to go ahead and launch it. So launch Malwarebytes. It's going to tell you that it has been successfully updated. Perform a quick scan. You don't need a full scan. You can do this later. Quick scan is just usually looks for stuff like this, such as fake viruses and uh, things like that. And you want to press scan. This is gonna this is gonna scan your computer within maybe like 10 minutes, and it's gonna give you the objects that are infected. You want to proceed on and remove the selected, and it's gonna ask you to restart at the end. And you should no longer have the virus. Now, some viruses are actually very simple to delete manually, but this is the easiest way, so if you're good, you can stop watching right now. Some viruses make shortcuts on the desktop, and you can usually, you can usually uh, uh, just reference it back to where it came from. So Malwarebytes, for example, if we click on Properties, we can see that it came from uh, C Program Files, whatever. So we, know the, we already know its relocation. So usually these rogue viruses are like, saved in Start, My Computer, Local disk C. You want to go to users, and you want to type in, uh, click on your username, and you want to have app, da app data. If you don't have app data, you can go press Alt on your keyboard, go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and make sure that Show Hidden Files and Folders are selected. Then you can go ahead and click on App Data, Roaming, and usually all the random characters here, like uh, QZRH, whatever, uh, the, the the folder or maybe an, even an executable file. Are going to be hidden in the app data roaming folder and you could just look around and just delete delete them from here another way another or another place where viruses might hide themselves would be in the temporary files folders so for that i recommend you download ccleaner i don't even know if i have it installed but ccleaner basically deletes your temporary files and folders empties your trash cans and does stuff like that and which also can get rid of the virus but what I do mostly recommend is that you have a uh, virus antivirus system, which uh, which you can get one uh, called AVG, and a free version will work as well. AVG is a really good, strong antivirus, and uh, that should work out for you. So whenever you feel like you're having a problem with your virus, you can go ahead. Or you, you know, whenever you feel like you have a virus or something, you can run Malwarebytes or do a scan with your antivirus, and that should work out. This is my tutorial for how to remove rogue viruses. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.